Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my beautiful people. Depend on where you're watching from, it is your girl again. Here I come. As the matter the hot, I say make I carry and come table. Yes, one of our dancers, when they call uh Kathy, don't come out to a content, say her children be they go Christland school. Yes, where that our beautiful girl Whitney at Denira for by say her children be they go the same school. And she no understand why something bad need to happen first before they go to talk about how they want to put things in place. Say right now, as the matter they go, she don't vow, she don't tell say eh, her children no go continue that school. Hmm. I say make her carry the Tori Komo and at the same time I go let her now watch her clip. Make her hear from the horse's mouth. Now she talk on. Una take care. Love. I, I had to make this video as a mother. I don't think, as a mother and as a parent, and I don't think anybody in this life will ever pray to lose a child. I, I, there's no, um, not, it's, it's inconsolable because it's, it's a grief that you carry forever. Like there's nothing that can replace it. You know, I, I'm speaking out not just because I, in solidarity with Whitney's mom, but also because my children go there. This is a school that I used to be so proud of. And I thrived to put my children there because I believed in the system in the 80s, the foundation at which Chris Land was built upon. This is not it. And um, this is one too many. And negligence is the consistent situation. And not just negligence, it's the aftermath of it that kills me. I don't know all the facts, but for what I've heard from the mother and from, like, come on. It's a whole child, a whole human being. The entire school needs to be shut down for it. Like, as I feel right now, my, my child is not going back to school. I know. I have thought about it many times in my head as a parent looking at, okay, Okay, my daughter is they're just having half term what do i do do i allow her to finish full term then pull her out of school i'm, I'm thinking okay does the school do home because i've paid already does the school do homeschooling for her till i find another school because definitely my child is going to have to leave christian because i i can't the position i am that god has placed me in this world is not one with a small voice and a whole child is dead like literally you can't get that child back like nothing nothing we're dealt with what we do we're dealing with another one now like it's it's becoming a consistent pattern where systems are not properly put in in place it now looks like we need to sacrifice our children before a system needs to be checked so before molestation is checked somebody a child has been molested before safety is checked a child has to die so before maybe a boss is checked now a boss needs to turn over i'll be god forbid though but if like i say right now eh, the school system we need a major fatal situation to happen before basic requirements and not because accidents cannot happen it's even what you do during and after that even makes us understand that circumstances beyond our control can happen but when circumstances beyond your control has happened out of you even neglecting the fact that certain safety checks you that's why you see in, in the western world sometimes and in establishment that i've seen also operating on such standards are very 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 to the letter t when it comes to safety in this part of the world we always think that uh, since it never happened for four years now it no go happen now so there are certain things that are like a difficult about because it hasn't happened for a long time that's why it's called safety because we don't know when it's gonna happen that's why it's called checks because we don't know it's going to happen it's like the airplane that we fly every day, they should not do the checks because that particular plane has not crashed since it has carried 10 passengers. Like, what are we saying here now? Why must we lose lives before, before we sit up in this country? Like, like, like. Eh? Why are we, like, what are we doing? Why is it that, is it, I don't know, is it big money? Is it that makes you feel like, you know, the more expensive the school is, the more untouchable they are, the more unaccountable they can be towards law and order and basic, basic essential 
things. Like the child got electrocuted for goodness sake. How was she electrocuted if all the things that were supposed to be on that field were not checked? Why, why wasn't it checked? As long as the electronics or anything that has got to do with electricity, safety requirement, basic requirement is required. The kind of electricity that will shock a, a child and burn her to death, put her in that electric situation. There's a major negligence there. And we're not hearing, like, oh my gosh. Come on now. Come on. Now, Pikino. Pikino. Pikino, person, take your hand, tray from Pikino. Nothing to have for us. Ghost could not come back. Hmm.